Every morning I wake up to a breakfast that normally consists of Pop-Tarts. Then I go back upstairs, hop in the shower, get changed, and then I'm on my way to school. I start off each morning in the library. The library is an awesome space where you can proofread papers, finish up projects, or maybe even sit back, relax, and read an old yearbook or two. Once the 8 a.m. bell rings, I stroll on down to Mr. Barron's English class. In Mr. Barron's class, we read novels such as The Book Thief and Of Mice and Men. The focus of this class is to gradually transition from short middle school age books to longer and more complex novels. Next up is Senora Clark in Spanish class. Along with the entire foreign language department, Senora Clark has embraced new technology and teaching styles. Now, her class is about 50% online to 50% traditional teaching. After back-to-back -back language classes, I have a well-deserved break. During break, I normally go to the Learning Center and catch up on the cross highlights or other YouTube videos. After morning break, it's time for math class with Mr. Bailey. Besides teaching Algebra 2, AP Calculus, and Applied Calculus, Mr. Bailey is also a huge sports fan and he is the head coach of the Fresh Soft basketball team as well as the MIAA champion JV soccer team. For fourth period, I walk down to the basement to Mr. McDonald's World Cultures class. One of the more interesting parts of this class is the Civilization Video Project, where we split into groups and create a video that describes an ancient civilization. The pyramids are picked by the gods and were usually brought to power by the death of the family members. Political figures were all for the pharaoh, below him, and that was the grand man of fire for the pharaoh. Uh, for here. Buffalo chicken wrap on a plain tortilla with no tomato. Just as fourth period ends, lunch begins. As a senior, we are given the privilege to be able to go off campus for lunch. One of the hot spots that seniors go to is Pepe's Pizza. One of my favorite things to get there is their buffalo chicken wrap. Thank you. You're I like to get back from lunch a little early so I can settle back in. Normally, I go to the brand new student center to browse Facebook or to play a computer game or two. Good. How's it going? Uh, pretty good. Woos Latin is a college prep school, so it's only fitting that I speak with Mrs. Badminton, our college counselor, about the whole process. I often found myself in the college counseling department this year, and Mrs. Badminton, Mrs. Oppenheim, and Mr. Robinson were always more than happy to answer any question I may have had. Mm -hmm. yep. You're doing a good job, right, Thank you. After fifth period, it is time for clubs. I'm in the mock trial club at Boys Latin as a lawyer on the team. Mock trial is an awesome experience because it gives students the ability to see what life is like as a lawyer or witness for a real case. Who knows, maybe I'll open a law firm someday. After school, I enjoy going down to the gym to either play pickup games with friends or just shoot around by myself. Besides raining three balls, I have a pretty good inside game too. But where I really shine is from way downtown from half court range. I always end each session with a half court. Woo!
As an avid sports fan, there's a good chance you'll see me in the front row of every student section. I think that a Boys Latin student section is a perfect example of our community and how we all come together to support one another. Defense! Defense! Once I finally get home from school, it's time to crack open the computer, pop out some notes, and finish up my homework. This has been a day in the life of a boy's Latin student.